page 92. Second poem. An elementary school classroom in a slum. About the poet, Stephen Spender, who lived between 1909 and 1995, was an English poet and an essayist. He left University College, Oxford, without taking a degree and went to Berlin in 1930. Spender took a keen interest in politics and declared himself to be a socialist and pacifist. And declared himself to be a socialist and pacifist. Books by Spencer include Poems of Dedication, The Edge of Being, The Creative Element, The Struggle of the Modern, and an autobiography, World Within World. In an elementary school classroom in a slum, he has concentrated on themes of social injustice and class inequalities. Before you read, have you ever visited or seen an elementary school in a slum? What does it look like? Now the poem. An elementary school classroom in a slum. Far from gusty waves, these children's faces, like rootless weeds, the hair torn round their pallor. The tall girl with her weighed down head, the paper seeming boy with the rat's eyes, the stunted, unlucky air of twisted bones reciting a father's gnarled disease, his lesson from his desk at back of the dim class. One unnoted, sweet and young. His eyes live in a dream of squirrel's game in tree room other than this. On sour cream walls, donations, Shakespeare's head cloudless at dawn, civilized dome riding all cities, belled flowery, Tyrolese Valley, open-handed map, avoiding the world its world. And yet, for these children, these windows, not this map, their world, where all their futures painted with a fog. Page 93. A narrow street, sealed in with a lead sky, far, far from rivers, capes, and stars of words. Surely Shakespeare is wicked, the map a bad example, with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal, for lives that slyly turn in their cramped holes from fog to endless night, on their slack heap, these children wear skins peeved through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass. Like bottle bits on stones, all their time and space are foggy slum. So blot their maps with slums as big as doom. Unless governor Inspector, visitor, this map becomes their window and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs. Break, O oh break, open, till they break the town and show the children to green fields and make their world run azure on gold sands and let their tongues run naked into books. The white and green leaves, open history, theirs whose language is the sun. On this very page, there are certain meanings, uh, certain explanations given. Tyrolese Valley is pertaining to the Tyrol, 
an Austrian alpine province. And catacombs means a long underground gallery with excavations in its sides for tombs. The name catacombs before the 17th century was applied to the subterranean cemeteries near Rome. Think it out. Number one, tick the item which best answers the following. A. The tall girl with her head weighed down means the girl. Number one, the girl, option number one, is ill and exhausted. Page 94. Option 2. Has her head bent with shame? Option 3. Has untidy hair? B. The paper seeming boy with rat's eyes means the boy is Option 1. Sly and secretive. Option B. Option 2. Thin hungry and weak. Option 3. Unpleasant looking. C. The stunted, unlucky air of twisted bones means the boy. Option 1. Has an inherited disability. Option 2. Was short and bony. D. His eyes live in a dream, a squirrel's game, in the tree room other than this means the boy is option one full of hope in the future option two mentally ill option three distracted from the lesson e the children's faces are compared to rootless weeds this means they option one are insecure Option 2 are ill-fed. Option 3 are wasters. Second, what do you think is the color of sour cream? Why do you think the poet has used this expression to describe the classroom walls? Number 3, the walls of the classroom are decorated with the pictures of Shakespeare, buildings with domes, world maps, and beautiful valleys. How do these contrast with the world of these children? Number four, what does the poet want for the children of the slums? How can their lives be made to change? Notice how the poet picturizes the condition of the slum children. Notice the contrasting images of the poem. For example, a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky. Far, far from rivers, capes and stars of words.